Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at industrial technology company Smiths Group PLC. The company has a market capital of £5.7 billion and is currently ranked 77th in the UK FTSE 100 index. In the financial year to July 2018, Smiths had a revenue of £3.2 billion and an operating profit before tax of £435 million, which gave it a margin of 13.5%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 3%, which is paid semi-annually in April and November. This dividend is covered twice by the earnings per share. The Smiths Group was founded by Samuel Smith at a jewellery shop in 1851 as a family clock and watch business. It was listed on the London Stock Exchange in July 1914. In the early 20th century, Smiths were the dominant supplier of instruments to British motor car and motorcycle firms, but by the late 1970s, the clock and watch's turnover had declined. By the early 1980s, 40% of all profits were earned outside the UK. The current CEO, Andrew Reynold Smith, was appointed in September 2015 from being CEO at GK and Automotive. The Smiths Group employs over 23,000 people at offices in over 50 countries, and the group invests 4.6% of sales per year into research and development. Smiths is divided into five divisions. John Crane produces seals for a wide range of industries including the oil and gas, chemical and pharmaceutical. 67% of John Crane's revenue comes from aftermarket sales. Smiths medical sales are from consumable and disposable products in over 120 countries. Smiths detection with sales from over 200 countries for equipment in the air transportation, ports and borders, defence and urban security. Smiths in Connect designed solutions for high-speed secure connectivity for the defence, semiconductor test, medical type industries in over 50 countries. FlexTech operates in eight countries, supply components to heat and move fluid and gases for the aerospace and medical type markets. For the previous five years, Smiths has had a consistent revenue of between 2.9 and 3.28 billion pounds and an operating profit margin ranging from 10.2% to 18.3%, which gave it an average of 12.9%. The forecast for next year is a 4.8% increase in revenue to around £3.3 .3 billion and a margin of 15%. With generated earnings for the previous five years of between 81.8 pence and 97.6 pence per share, the dividend has always been covered by at least twice the earnings per share. The earnings per share is forecast to increase 7% for the financial year 2019. The share price standard deviation for the previous 12 months was 121 compared to 295 for the FTSE 100 index. The current share price is 32% above the 52 week intraday low. On the 18th of July 2018, Smiths announced that due to new EU regulation, some products had been decertified. This led to the suspension of some products in Europe and the termination of two contracts in the United States. On the 4th of October, Smiths announced that in the second half of the financial year 2019, it will acquire United Flexible of the United States with 700 employees at its four operations in the United States and three in Europe for an enterprise value of $345 million, payable from existing cash and bank facilities. The Q1 trading statement on the 14th of November 2018 stated that revenue was down 1% due to phasing of orders of Smiths detection and Smith's medical regulatory and contract challenges. The full year is expected to be at least sustained for the financial year 2018. Smith's also announced that it intended to separate Smith's Medical from Smith's Group PLC. Despite it being the group's largest division, Smith's have discussed offloading the medical division from its much stronger core industrial tech business since 2011. In the 2018 financial year, the statutory operating profit for the medical group fell by 47%. It has previously rejected offers of £2.45 billion in 2011 and 2013. Over the past six months, the share price is 22% lower and 5% lower than it was five years ago. Investors are hoping that a breakup of the group will happen this time and potentially unlock extra value. Smiths has a price earnings ratio of 16 compared to the FTSE 100 index of 11.3 and a dividend yield of 3% compared to the FTSE 100 index average of 4.45%. The dividend which hasn't been cut in over 25 years is covered twice by earnings. 
return on capital employed at 22.6 percent net debt at the 31st of july 2018 was 893 million pounds but the net pension had a surplus of 381 million pounds for these reasons i've given smith's group a rating of 4.2 out of 5. thank you for watching please leave comments below and also like and subscribe for further analysis of uk company businesses